I want people to be aware that I've tried to do this video multiple times, but every time I look at the edit, um, I'm not very eloquent and I'm not very articulate. So um, I think the best thing for me to do is do a bit of a a rough draft um, and, and, and get it out. I feel as though it's probably going to be the best way. I'm... I've already had messages call me a racist, um, therefore I'm expecting people to call me out. I'm completely, I'm completely fine with all of that on, on, online. George Floyd's death is an absolute disgrace. He was treated without dignity, without respect, and for a man who was trying to cash a check in, has just been treated completely inhumanely. And with the loss of an innocent man, there has been a wonderful resurgence in Black Lives Matter and a movement which I feel is something that we need in order to make all our futures better. There are some people that when I talk about this, they feel as though it's very much an American issue, but it's not. Racism is rife everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere you go. Um... I think you have to be fairly ignorant to think that it's not. I know this issue isn't about me, but I feel as though this is the way I always relate things. And that when I wear my kipper or if I put my menorah in the window, if I feel uncomfortable, I can always take it off. I can remove it. When it comes to people's skin colour, you can't remove that if you feel uncomfortable. Therefore, it, it's really important that we change people's views, we change people's perspective of what it is to be black in a modern society with modern values and a modern way of thinking. And with modern thinking, social media becomes the number one place for all of this to happen. Now, if you look at my Instagram, you will know that I have been very quiet on the matter. Now, the reason for this is, is that there is a lot of information that's going around that I don't know what is best to do. So, for example, for Blackout Tuesday, everyone was posting the black square with hashtag Black Lives Matter. I saw a lot of posts saying that we shouldn't be doing that because it's silencing the voices of those who need to be heard. Therefore, I didn't post anything. I already had people messaging me then saying I'm racist for not doing it. Since then, I have been trying to educate myself as much as possible. Now, I think that no one is going to be an expert on this matter within one week of reading two books, one article, or listen to, to a few podcasts. It's just not going to be the case. I need to educate myself, and that education will take a while for me to truly understand the experience of what is going on. Social media is a lovely tool, but when it turns into witch hunting, I'm, I'm not privy to it. Um, and the, the difficulty is, is that I feel as soon as I start putting on social media, it looks like virtue signaling, or as I would prefer to call it, uh, performatism, uh, where I am doing something because the Vox Populi is doing something. I really need to educate myself. And if that means that I need to stay away from social media and do the reading on my own, I feel as though that's the best thing forward. Just in this video, I'm gonna talk about two very specific things. Um, but in the description, and it's going to be a work in progress, is that I'm going to collate various um, petitions to sign, various uh, bits of reading that I think would be useful. Now, I, I do want to say that all the things I'm going to be putting in there will not involve people putting money into something. Now, the reason why I want it to be free is I don't feel comfortable asking people to donate because I'm, un I'm very aware um, so I've been in the situation myself where money is tight and people can be pressured to feel as though they need to donate to make a change. Therefore, I'm not going to do that. Um, the economic situation at the moment is not the best. So I just want everyone to know these are going to be free. So the first one I want to talk about is a petition to change the education system, talk more about black history and people of colour. Now, people might know this, people might not, but the UK government very much focuses on 
England and in Wales, the country where I am, we have a devolved government. Therefore, Wales doesn't actually have to listen to the laws in the UK. So even though there are petitions specifically for the UK government, there is a possibility that the Welsh government or the Senedd might go, we don't want to change that. Therefore, for my personal country and something that I think we should change and it should be learned, I'm going to put a link down to that. It takes two clicks and they will hopefully change Wales for the better. The second thing I would urge people to do, and I'm very aware that both of these things are very UK centric, so please forgive me, uh, but you could use this lovely website called Write to Them. Now with Write to Them, you put in your postcode and you will have a list of your local councillors, your AMs and your MPs. And you can contact them in two clicks. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the body of the email that I have sent. So you can just copy paste it and send it straight out as well. Uh, please be aware that when you do fill in the form, there will be a email that comes straight to your inbox just saying, please confirm you want to send this off. If you don't do that bit, the email doesn't actually be sent. Um, any tweaks to that email, please let me know in the comments. And again, everything's going to be a work in progress so I can populate it there. Social media is so rife within our lives that it feels as though everyone should be on there and doing their piece but i want people to think before they start calling people that they know racists because they haven't said something there's there's people like me who are doing the best they can to educate themselves and to take the time to really look into those issues to better themselves and hopefully better societies in the future. If you have any links, they don't have to be UK centric like I've done. Please put them in the comments and I'll populate them into the description. I just want this to be a place where this community that I've gathered can come together and help people. I know some people are angry that um, a book review it came up yesterday. Um, I just want people to know that for me, I, I schedule my videos. Um, and they're normally about four days um, in front. So when you see something come up on a Friday, I've normally filmed it and edited it on Monday and I can just um, I ignore it for a little bit. I feel so I need space. So um, I apologize if I've caused any offense. I apologize if I haven't done anything sooner. I just want people to know where I stand on the matter. Um, I hope it helps. Um, uh, thank you.